Hey you guys, so I'm out on a little bit of a walk today and I uh, came across this field and it's right in the middle of my neighborhood. Um, it's back behind some houses but it's also, it's just at the end of the cul-de-sac, it's a pretty cool spot. There was uh, some birds in it earlier, I think they might still be there, you can hear a dove calling, he's right up over there on the telephone pole. Um, there were some pigeons. I've seen doves in here before and pigeons. So this, uh, <clears throat> I guess, if you want to talk about SHDF for a second, this would be a pretty good spot to harvest food. Um, also with an adequate supply of water, which there's a creek that runs about way crow flies 200 yards away from where I'm at right now. So, uh, and it runs year long. And uh, I'm about 300 yards away from where I am. There's a little pond spot that has, you know, probably 600 to 1,000 gallons of water in it. Um, but what I wanted to, uh, so, excuse me, so, uh, <clears throat> so what I was saying is this could be used up above here. I'm just sitting on the other edge of this hill, but it plateaus up, up top of there, and you could use it for planting and stuff if you had a good community to work with. But um, other than that, this is uh, what I wanted to show you. These sticks are all in here. I don't know the name of this plant, but it has a lot of pith on the inside. I'll show you right here. This is one of the branches I broke off that. That's all pith. There's bark on this, and then there's pith. There's not really anything else. Um, and it breaks just easier than anything, you know. It's So I, I figure... Um, if you use a straighter piece like this, you can make a fairly good uh, drill for a bow drill because it's a light wood. <clears throat> I mean, it, it's it's strong pressure-wise, not not if you're going like that with it. But what I want to show you today, so I'm kind of going to tap it for a really good resource. Um, that could help uh, making a fire. Here we go. I'm just about. It's the RKT Pizuda. This thing is great. Um, I got this for Christmas from a family member. And it came with the spork. And the spork's okay, but the CRKT Pizuda. Damn, this thing is great. Um, so that's it. That's all the pith. Uh, that's what we want to tap and get into. Cut a piece out here. Sorry, my camera skills are kind of sucking. My camera's wandering a little bit and kind of shaky because I'm doing this offhand. But anyway, just cut that out. Nice little piece. But the thing about this, and I'm in kind of a, excuse me for a second, switch, <coughs> switch my stuff out. This is a little miniature bick. Uh, where this comes in great. Get this set up here. I don't know if you can see this, but here's the biff. Here's a mini bick. It doesn't burn super well, but what it does do is smolder really well. There's a nice ember. So if I wanted to take this, it's smoking nice, put it right here into that tinder bundle. This isn't a proper tinder bundle, but and it's, it rained this morning, so this stuff's a little bit wet. But basically, you can see it's smoking down there. put it in a proper tinder bundle. This is just little grass I just picked up, but you could blow it into something. This one I'm not going to try to blow because I'll try a little bit, but I'm in a pretty, what I'd call a flammable field right here. It's just all this grass. So, separate that ember out here. 
put some dirt on top of it and so uh, that's what I want to show you guys so if you're, if you're in a situation where you need to spark something maybe you don't have a lighter on you even if you do have a lighter but you're having a hard time finding good uh, tinder this is some good stuff to use um, these smaller branches you can just shave the ends off pardon the dog right there um, you can just shave the ends off and there it is right, right down in there that's all the piff and these also work really well for burning so uh thanks you guys